Well, go on, Internet Mandem. It's Multiplier here showing you crazy information, throwing it into your brain holes through the medium of YouTube. And what is going on in this video? I'm showing you how to make the craziest 808s you've ever heard in trap music. Basically, EDM hip hop made by people who shouldn't be making hip hop. So that's cool. Through the wonders of editing, what I'm going to do is show you what the final result sounds like. Wowzers trousers, that's what I would make to that sound. Let's get into it. So first of all, need to make the body of the sound and then I'll throw a load of chaos at it to make it interesting and crazy. So yeah, serum, because serum is the easiest synth to use if you wanna do more non-trivial stuff. So bring down the level, get a note going in arrangement view because that's just how I like to work. And open that up and I'm gonna draw in a G0 or F0, let's go for F0 because F is the same letter that the word frog starts with, so that will be good. So draw in some sort of note. Uh, let's do a button, oh, set the BPM as well. 150, that's close enough to 150. Um, yeah, two bars will be fine. Yep, so got a bit of a note playing, because remember, an 808 kick drum is Basically, just a, a bass. Basically, it's just a bass note. See what I did there? Pun, play on words, clever. I'm a genius. Um, cool. So that is the the bass note. But that sounds stupid because I haven't done any actual stuff to it yet. So what I'm going to do is freak you guys out with what you can do with this body of the 808. So I'm going to choose a, a wavetable that has a sign in it, but also some other stuff going on as well. What about? Maybe just the analog sign's pretty good. So it's a sign with a little bit of stuff. Some little, oh, I've got a text message. Not now. Back to the video. So this is a sine wave. But as you modulate the wavetable position, you get some harmonic variation happening, which is cool. He's, I forgot to loop that. Learn your shortcuts. Command squiggly. There you go. I lied. You can figure out the shortcut for loop. That's okay. Cool, sounds amazing. That's the 808 done. Not really, right. Um, what's gonna do next? Oh yeah, do some stuff to it. So I'm gonna do a, um, need some sort of that happening. We need some of that in the sound. So envelope or LFO. No, I'm gonna do LFO because it's more interesting. Um, no, I'm not. I'm gonna do a combination of envelopes and LFOs. Say what, multiply what you do and you can't do that. That's against the rules. Actually, I'm a rule breaker. I'm a maverick, so. Envelope, assign this to the level, why not? And then, uh, do I wanna do that or not? Um, actually, rewind, don't rewind, edit, don't edit. I'm gonna do instead, um, I'm gonna change the overall amplitude envelope. Why am I dragging that about, idiot? Uh, undo, um, what, what am I doing? Right, cool, so uh, let's do the length to. There you go, and turn it up loads. Cool, so it's starting to sound like we've got some sort of like thing happening. So that is the envelope one is determining the overall amplitude of the wave, but let's make it more interesting. So I'm gonna choose envelope one and assign that to the wavetable position. See, it sounds better already. Remember, an 808 is just a bass sound. So anything you can do to a bass to make it interesting, such as modulation, etc., you can do to an 808. And that is one of the main key ideas behind making crazy interesting 808s. Just treat it as a bass sound. Awesome, do I like the length of that? Yes, I do. You know I don't, yes I do. We're gonna keep it like that. And I'm gonna make it more interesting. So I'm gonna add a, a noise sample at the front and one of these miscellaneous uh, attacks. Ah, oh, stupid, kick it into one-shot mode. Give it a bit of an attack. Scratch that, um, I'm gonna add that in afterwards. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to do a pitch envelope. The brain, right, cool, pitch envelope. I'm gonna do two. This will freak you out as well. Um, or it won't if you know what you're doing with drums. So first of all, a pitch envelope, let's say envelope two. A really quick dude, 
assign that to course pitch and let's also do another one. Let's do two modulations at the same time because that's crazy and it'll confuse everyone. Um, and then a longer modulation on the pitch as well. The first one is gonna go down really fast. So I'm gonna do a uh, double click for type of all values or not, doesn't matter too much. I'll just drag it about, change that to unidirectional. Oh, I'll bypass that one temporarily. What's going on? What have I done? What have I done? I am confused. I know what I've done. I forgot to unassign envelope two to the volume. Der brain. I am a der brain. Let's remove that right now. So envelope two. Oh, idiot, idiot. Rookie mistake. Remove all, not, I don't want to remove all of them. Actually, it's all right because envelope one goes directly to amplitude. So that should be okay. Ah, much better. There you go. I'm a professional. Who would have thought that? Lol. Right. Even professionals make mistakes. Now I had the thing rooted and that was a oh, nightmare. So now the, the envelope's the wrong length for envelope one. That's even the wrong shape. Let's make it more. Coolies, right. Back in the game and yeah, then, so yeah, what I was doing is assigning a really quick envelope to the pitch so it goes right at the front of the sound. Uh, and that gives it punch because it goes down in th through all the frequencies and it's like kapow. So that is what goes on with that, uh, right. See, as I drag it more to the right, it does more of a pitch envelope. How cool is that? Magic, not really, it's serum. See, no pitch envelope. Just all like, uh, boring, stupid. Nope, need a pitch envelope. And maybe lengthen it. There you go, all mid range, no top end. And now there is punch, brilliant, but I'll add some more stuff into that later on. So then there is the second pitch envelope, which is gonna be more like So it's a slow moving thing, gonna make the pitch go down. So the first one was like, and then this one's like, see what I mean? So first one, and then second one, that's what's going on to the pitch. Crikey, this video is less focused than normal, but that's cool. I've made lots of mistakes. That doesn't even normally happen. Um, and now I'm talking without even demonstrating anything, but you know what, roll with it, roll with it. You can you can handle it, you can, you can handle it. So that's okay. And yeah, what we're doing. Oh yeah, envelope three is a long one, and then that's gonna go down. Oh, bypassed it, turn that off. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Who set up that? An idiot. Um, why is it doing that? Uh, that is this. Oh, it's going both directions. That'll be it. There you go. Oh, but then the note's probably wrong. Um, slow it down. Maybe less of an impact. See how it's got that trailing off vibe now with the pitch? And now the note's wrong because it's starting higher up. Does this make any sense to you? Probably not. Normally I do explain more about what is going on, but you know what? Can't be bothered today. I normally I spend my whole day explaining stuff in detail and this time I'm not going to. Oh, what am I doing now? There you go, trailing away. And now I can have a look to see what frequencies it's trailing through. See that fundamental trailing away? Uh, let's slow it up a touch. And it's going through good frequencies, I would say. Oh yeah, good little tip, by the way. Whenever you're designing or choosing kick drums, you have to, or bass sounds, you have to do it at lots of different monitoring volumes because you hear the balance of frequencies differently depending on the volume you're hearing it. Google Fletcher Munson loudness curves or loudness contours if you want to get all nerdy and mathematical. So that's sounding good to me. It's really short. That's okay though. Um, right, that is the body done. Next is I need to, is that the body done? Or now I'm going to freak it up a bit because why not? I'm going to add some LFO to the pitch because no one does that. 
and that's quite exciting to me. So LFO, fine pitch control, fine pitch trigger. And I actually want to start it in the middle. Snap, hold, uh, hold this button, option, snap the nodes, bing, and then start here. So I wanted to start in the middle of the frequency thing, modulate and work it out. I'm not going to explain what's going on. Actually, let me explain it very clearly what I've just done. Before I did that little change, what it was doing is with the pitch, and now it's doing with the pitch. Makes sense? Hopefully that's a good explanation because that is the best way I can possibly think to describe what I've just done. And I'm also going to assign that to the level as well, just for fun -tivities. Ooh, look at that. Funtimes.com. Let's try that louder. Ooh, it's got some movement. It's got some movement. Movement is good. Coolies, that's a bit of a body done for the time being. In fact, just in general. So I'm gonna bounce that down to audio just so I have to stick with it. Nice little tip there. So cool, now you can even see that that modulation did stuff to the, the amplitude as well as the frequency, because you can see it in the waveform, which is pretty coolies to me. Wowzers trousers, let's get on to the next component. Crikey, this video has been less informative than normal, but hopefully you get an impression for how to create the 808. I'm at least going through all the processes, processes, what processes, processes involved. So yeah, coolies, right, what next, next step, what is, let's make it interesting with a funny animal sound. For realsies, that is what is happening right now. Um, dum, 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 where's it gone? I can't remember where my hard drive folder is called. There it is, Vox Pat Extra Content. <laughs> yeah, why not an elephant sound? Because that's normal in 808s. <laughs> Maybe pitch that mofo down. And then apply a fade. See, elephants can be useful, not to mention they're quite amazing animals, elephants. I highly recommend investigating ele 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 elephants as an animal. Also talking is good. In fact, elephants are one of my favorite animals. They are pretty fantastic. I'm gonna shorten that up a touch. Nah, change the fade actually. Coolie, so next step. Now there is a bit of something. I might even explain what's going on a bit more now. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, oh yeah, two, two main steps left. So two kind of main steps left. I'm gonna throw loads of Foley sounds, loads of interesting, funny sounds like elephants, etc. Just lots of stuff in there to make it interesting. And then I'm gonna chuck it all through quite a lot of effects. So we've got the body going, which I'm going to call something logical like elephants. Um, and then I'm gonna call, if I can spell it, elephant. And then I'm gonna call the elephant layer something useful like body. And therefore you never get in a muddle. Uh, Oh, it says elephant trumpet on there. That's wrong, stupid. Um, cool. Let's find some. In fact, let's let me let me do two steps in one because that'll confuse everyone, and I'm confused already. So I'm going to do the processing and the throwing in of more sounds all at the same time, so no one knows what's happening. Um, so I'm going to throw in a reverb and some distortion, and I'm going to choose Torverb, and then I'll go, I'll choose a preset in a sec, and then probably in fact let's choose a preset now. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Not really appropriate anyway. Just a little bit of reverb. Actually, I want to, I want to tail on that. Um, medium tail. That's a long one, maniac. should be fine. And then I'm also going to throw in a whole bunch of other sounds in there and then chuck on some distortion. So I'm going to choose, I want some reverb. 
sort of like sort of sounds, which I could record, but I'm not going to because can't be bothered. Um, let me look through. Yeah, Gold Baby do some crazy good stuff. Um, dirt samples. Ah, screw it, just drag that in. Probably do something useful with that. And get rid of that, put a fade on it, turn up the volume to a million. Lovely bit of cassette noise. And then what next? Let's throw some more sounds at it. Drum layering tools. Yeah, some good sounds here. Um, Foley and SFX. That one's cool. Drag that in. Uh, I want it in the group, actually. And get rid of the fade. Probably want that attack. Yep. And then let's throw some more Foley, one on the left, one on the right, so that'll be on the right. But like super subtle and ting. Uh, yeah, screw it, I'll chuck them in the group afterwards. Let's throw that in there. It's been warped, don't want that. Maniac, right, and that's to the left, to the right, turn it down. making it interesting by chucking stuff at it. You can always make these sounds yourself, and I have done. For example, I even have a sample pack full of them, so I make them to myself, but I'm not gonna show you, can't be bothered. Um, yeah, what was I, I was saying something important. Was I? No, I wasn't. Uh, actually, let's chuck some reverb on the elephant, because elephants always sound better with reverb. Fact. Um, what reverb are we cool? Um, yeah, why not more tour reverb? Because that won't destroy my CPU. Could always turn the settings down, but can't be bothered. Bing! Right. Uh. No, that's killing my CPU. Maybe I'll just bounce down the elephant. Uh, this video is long, longer than normal. Maybe turn down the elephant. Yes, much better quiet. And that's because of an important fact that I did forget to tell you. So if you've ever seen elephants on YouTube, while the big ones are still fantastic, the little ones are even more fantastic. And therefore, when you mix your elephants into your 808s, you must choose a, a low level for the, the gain, otherwise it would be like a big elephant when the little ones are better. Makes sense, should do. Righteous, let's start doing some processing and then I can always throw some more funtivities into the mix. So make sure you call your group something useful, like group, and then uh, dis distortion. Yeah, let's chuck out, chuck in some distortion. And I'm going to use, I'll, I'll start off with the less crazy one and then I can always go more crazy if I want to with uh, Trash 2. Ooh, look at that. The cool thing about this is it's doing compression at the same time. It's got this weird but amazing compressor with like no settings on it and it's not clear what's going on. On the left-hand side, so I like this because it shapes it at the same time, but in a creative way. That was cray cray. Ooh. It's got some cool little end ting happening. I like that. But it needs more chaos, don't you think? Don't you think it needs more chaos? Um, how am I gonna do that? How am I gonna make it more chaotic? Actually, I must make the elephant shorter because just like how I told you earlier, little elephants are better than big ones. I forgot to extend that also to the length. I applied it to the volume, but not the length. Classic mistake multiplier, rookie mistake. R yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing, idiot? Oh, but then the reverb is not right.
Yeah, let's chuck some more reverb on there. Why not? Just for fun. Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Stupid machine. There you go. Don't like that preset this time round. So, oh, CPU, what are you doing? Crazy thing. Exploding. Ah, right, freeze. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, CPU. Don't cry. Don't don't get too upset. Yeah, that's because I stick the settings on like ultra max in Toroverb. Check this out. Totally off topic, and this video has become long, but I'm cool with that. Um, where's it gone? Settings, settings, options, even uh, quality, highest, not even just high, the highest possible settings. No wonder my CPU is is crashing. Oh, look at that! Brilliant. And then I think I'm going to apply a fade on that reverb tail, actually. Uh, delete, 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 and consolidate. Come on, J. J for juggling. And um, the, oh, what am I clicking there for, idiot? And then fade, just like that. Oh, perfect. And again, the... That's too long. This is the fine tuning stage. Much better, much better. Oh, I am a genius. And then maybe just a touch on that as well. It still needs to kind of be there just to give that little bit of length. Bring that up, actually. Cool. Next, I need to do some filtering to filter out the lows on the non-body elements. Uh, in, although you do have to do it on, on this body, the, the this one, which isn't actually the body. Do have to do it on that too, uh, just to make sure there's no low-end rumble getting in the way of the base bit of the 808. So chuck one of these dudes on it. That'll be fine. Don't need to be too specific, too, too, that's not even the right word, too precise, um, or maybe you should. Uh, quite like that mid rumble, actually. So I'm gonna leave that uh, low mid rumble-ish in there. That's cool. And same here. Fine. And then again, I should probably just copy this from one layer to the next, but you know what? Sometimes the um, the, the turtle wins the race or something. No idea. There you go. Cool. Just getting rid of that low end rumble that isn't needed for the character, the function, the interest, the art, the emotion of that layer. I mean, there is some good tips in this, even though I have taught more ridiculousness than normal. And that, as I, as I said earlier, that is saying something. Cool. Righteous. That might be all right. Let me bounce it out to check it. You want to make sure there's no mistakes. So I'm going to do a cool little trick um, called resampling in Ableton. Um, so yeah, kick it, press that button, turn off the loop-de-loop. -loop. And then, yeah, I can listen to it as well, actually. Cool. Did I let that play for as long as I needed to? I can always tighten it up if I need to. So looking at that, um, yeah, the attack looks slightly weird and wonky. But might be all right. So here is the sound I'm going to do some final touches to. Righteous, and I'm gonna call it snare drum and color code it blue and then blue. So uh, 
that is a bit of something I need to do trash to and just add that final bit of something maybe to it. We'll see what happens. So get one of these crazy algorithms out. Uh, let's loop-ty loop that as well, like that. Loop-ty loop. That's a bit nuts. Oh, there's the harmonics I wanted. I want just a tiny bit of it. Actually, screw that. Not doing that. Let's do. Let's just do the convolution reverb because that definitely sounds good. Uh, actually, yeah, classic textures is pretty good. Just mixing in a little bit. Let's listen to the full. Oh yeah, mix a bit of that in. Maybe even ruin it with some stereo stuff. Nah, don't do that. That sounds good to my ear holes. You know what? That might be it. Let's bounce that down to audio, file, freeze, flatten. Actually, I might tweak. Actually, yeah. I'm not done yet, actually. Thought I was done. I don't like that front little bit. I could probably use a compressor to fix that. Can I even be bothered? Is it that important? Screw it, I can actually fix it quite easily with a utility. Now, I should probably use a compressor, but that involves a bit too much um, like using of my brain, which I don't always want to do. So, literally just do a little bit of that, bit of that, and then see how that looks. Oh, stupid, right? And normalize. That's looking better, isn't it? There you go. Maybe even get that attack up to the same level. I'm going to do that one more time, actually. Remember, people, compressors are pretty much just volume uh, automation anyway. So if you've got something real specific in mind that you can do with a bit of adjustment like this, you can just do that. That should be OK. Same again. And then cool little trick again, consolidate, um, set clip gain to zero, normalizes, and that's looking pretty good to me. Oh, yeah, right. Let me save that as giraffe drum. And then I'll save it on my computer as, no, I'll just save the project, why not? Why am I even showing you this? Not even important, because you've seen how it's made now. So I'm just going to call it giraffe drum. Right. Done. Listen to it again, even though you've already heard it. That's cool. Um, I forgot to do the really important final step, which is make it look big. All right. And you go, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. What a, what a thing I've just created. Um, it doesn't look right at that zoom level, does it? Uh, should I make it? Let's get the full effect, people. Let's get the full. Oh, look at that. Look at, I'll get rid of the fade. So it looks, I'll make it look pretty. If we're gonna do a long video, I might as well make it epically long. Hashtag epic, lol. Um, and let's, yeah, let's clean it up as well, because why not? If you've got this far, you obviously don't mind the rambling too much. So let's, that's too many freezes up there. Um, let's write a little story. Once upon a time, there was a little penguin called Skrillex. Oh, 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 who loved um, the dubsteps so, so much that him and his friend, um, the Diplodocus, Diplodocus, went on an adventure to um, share the dubsteps with the world. Uh, if I can type with the world. 
to be continued. Yeah. Love it. Inspired, inspired to make crazy 808s. Yes, you are. And brilliant. Fantastic. That is it. A crazy 808 made by crazy multiplier. Um, yeah. And I suppose I should say something about stuff, but I think we're cool. I think we're done. This video's long enough. I've even written a little story about Skrillex and his friend the Diplodocus, and that's just not normal in a tutorial video on YouTube. Until now, 